G'day everybody, it's Matt Dove from Lawn Pond. Get your lawn on. In today's video, we're gonna go through Momotion's robotic mowers and see which one is right for you. Get your lawn on. There we go. All right, so you can see me? My head's not chopped off? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take two. One, two, three. Okay. Well, we're having a lot of fun here today, Heidi and I. Back a couple of years ago now, I reckon, it's uh, Momotion uh, released the Luba. And uh, this is quite a, a fantastic mower. It's got uh, ultrasonic sensors here to sense objects to avoid them. It's also had the bumper here. Also had some side bumpers. And underneath was a real revolution, this, having two discs. Yeah. All right. And a suspension at the front here, which you may not be able to see or see, I don't know. But this was uh, quite a revolution when it came out and caused quite a stir on the internet. Take four. One, two, three. Yeah, have you got this following around? Because I'm going to go to this one now. Oh, hold on. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> right. Okay. So the, then they brought out uh, the Yuka and everybody was going, oh, what's this one about? It's a... Uh, mower it's got a one disc you can probably see that underneath there but it's also got a self-emptying uh, catcher and a sweeper so really quite in in innovative there and this also has some cameras to help it navigate around this is probably more for smaller yards yards that aren't so bumpy well manicured yards or areas that you really want to get rid of leaves. All right, you're right, you're right on it, Heidi? Yes, I am right on it. Okay, cool. Take five. <laughs> the next one here is the Luber 2, very similar to the Luber. A few subtle differences, but once again, it's the same sort of shape. We've lost the, uh, the sensors on the side, but we've got the camera added to the ultrasonic sensors, added to the mechanical bumper. Same deal with the two discs at the bottom. And the Luba and the Luba 2 basically are for bigger yards, yards that have got lots of uneven areas and slopes. These don't catch, but the idea is, is if you mow quite regularly and just take a little bit of leaf off, that will uh, degrade and go back into the lawn. Basically as a fertilizer, it's mulching it. A yard like the front I've got here, I would go a yucca if I had a bigger yard with lots of slopes and, and uh, tougher grass, I would go a, a, a Luba or a Luba 2. Now, um, I did test the Luba here and it was fine even though I had a bit of tree coverage, but if you've got an area that's got uh, lots of uh, tree issues and lots of coverage and lots of shade, you really need the clear sky, you'll need to go the Luba 2 with the cameras. To, so that they are used in areas where the RTK and the satellite's not really working. However, the Luba 1 uh, did really well at my place here, but look, it's fairly open, um, not many trees. I do have trees out the back, but uh, it didn't affect it. All right, so all of these mowers basically run on a system of uh, having a base station uh, and a charging unit for the mowers to charge into and that also acts as a what's called an RTK uh, unit which is reading the satellite. So the satellite reads the RTK unit and then that can position where the mower is. So what you do with all these mowers, the setup is pretty much the same and I'll show you that in a second, is that uh, you just map out the area and then you can program it whichever way you want it to program to uh, cut the lawn. So we'll go through that really quickly and, uh, and I'll give you a bit of a demonstration. We'll use the new one, Luba 2. I only set that up yesterday. So we'll, uh, we'll get that going. Okay, once it's in the station, the RTK is solid green reading satellites. You can go about positioning where the mower is before you start creating a map. You need to position the mower by putting it out into the area and there it's, it's worked straight away it's gone from positioning to ready okay so 
return to the charging station. Start recharging. And what it will do is the little infrared sensor on the back of the mower will read into this and go back in there. Of course, the Yuka goes in front ways, but basically the whole thing is the same. You've got to find a decent spot for your chargey RTK. The RTK gets the satellites and then your mower will get the satellites and decide where it is. So you're ready to map now. So this is a bit of fun. So the idea is, is that you manually use your phone. It's got two virtual joysticks to map out the area. So let's do that now. Awesome. All right. A motion app. Understand that you're clicking a map to start a map. Understand you've got to hit create. You hit area. It'll give you some instructions. It'll say to manually control Luba two to the perimeter of the target lawn first. So you will do a manual operation. And out it comes. You go to the edge of your lawn area. Wherever you want that to be. And this is where I'm gonna start my edge here. So I click the. So I click the uh, uh, triangle button to start it, and then I'm just basically using the joysticks to map the area. Do you want to follow me, babe? So using the virtual joysticks, just manoeuvre the robot around the edge of your area just leave a little bit of a gap from the edges and, and that way you don't get into any trouble with it getting um, caught up on uh, edges and barriers and and uh, whatnot take your time with this because the better the edge and making the area the better the end result will be if you make a mistake you can go back and modify that area by hitting the modify button there it's getting there, yeah. You too, thanks. A bit of moral support from the passers-by. It all helps all right. and it's all appreciated. This mower really does get some uh, interesting uh, from people that are just walking past and seeing what's going on. They are quite impressed by it. And here I am just finishing up my area and all getting right. back so to the keep start. Going. Go across my area a bit there and just restart it, get to the thing. Mapping's complete, gets the idea of what I'm trying to do. Got it. So finish that. Task area mapping completed. And that makes a task area. You can create no go zones. Typically I would do one for that uh, little area where the this one is here. But just uh, I'm gonna leave that alone today and uh, and just get you to see how it mows. Okay, so the next thing after you've done your map is you want to mow your area, you can schedule it, you can do all sorts of things. Depending on the model is uh, the different sorts of features that it's got, especially if you've got a Yuka, you can also add the sweeping while it's mowing as well. But this Luba 2 doesn't have that, that's okay. So I'm just going to hit uh, mow. Just reminds me to remove toys and all sorts of things and keep pets and stuff out the way, that's fine. Uh, I've got my area confirmed there. So, as I said before, you can program it, you can program it weekly, specified dates, fixed intervals, whatever you like. Um, you can, on this model, change the cutting height. I'm going to go to the lowest cutting height even though I'm just doing this as a demonstration. My lawn is too low for 25 millimetres, so it won't really cut it much. My cutting speed, my cutting path, the cross board, so it'll go uh, this way and also go the other way, which is good. Um, and obstacle avoidance, I'm going no touch. So basically, I'm hoping that it will see the, uh, the water meter there and treat it as an obstacle and go around it without hitting it. So we'll see how that goes. 
I'm going to do three perimeter laps. I'm going to do them first. I've got that set to first and my relative angle to the uh, actual uh, charging station is naught degrees. So you can press preview by hitting preview bottom left how it's going to look and that's about what I want. I want lines going that way and that way. So if I hit start, it'll tell me that 75 square meters is going to take 50 minutes. If it hasn't mowed the area in a while, it'll just recommend a cutting height of 50, but this is well managed area. It'll do a self check. Start working. And then it'll start working. All right, let it do its thing and uh, uh, we'll come back out here in about 50 minutes and see uh, how it all went. So I had the mower to do the perimeter first and I was quite impressed by the way it did the outer perimeter. It looked like it was adjusting itself using the camera to get really close to the edge, a bit closer than what I had it when I was uh, doing it. So impressed with that. Also impressed with this, it's sensed that uh, water meter which is quite a small feature and gone around it without touching it so very good. We'll see how it goes on the third lap and yes it's done it so really happy with that. That is uh, very good because that is a small feature. After the three perimeter laps it's now going into its main pattern and I was wondering which way it was going to go but it's going the longest way first with its uh, straight lines and that's a good programming feature in my opinion because that would be, to my mind, the most efficient way to mow. This is the mower at normal speed, so it gives you a bit of an idea of why it takes 50 minutes to do an 80 square metre area. So the slow cutting is a really great feature and makes for a much more nicer cut. So here it is going the other way and also a little bit of a feature in here is the uh, camera. So you can actually see in real time what it's doing and it can also act as a bit of a security camera. After it's completed its task, it will go back into the charger to charge itself up ready for its next adventure. Start charging. So they're very versatile mowers and very easy to set up the motion mowers. The app is great. Like I'm now doing some work at Lee Creek which is like 300 k's away from home and I can control my mowing while I'm away through the app which is working through the Wi-Fi at home so really good there I think these are really great mowers and that's why I do quite a lot of content on them so look don't think that you you know if you've got a, um, a, a small front yard like mine that's well manicured uh, don't think that you have to go for a Yuka. Uh, you don't have to. If you like the look of the Luber, for sure, go for that. So when it comes down to what mower for which job, the Luber will handle much more of a, a rough yard, uh, much bigger yards, yards with big slopes. The Yuka's pretty good too. Um, it's no slouch. But it is for the smaller yard, it's for picking up the leaves, picking up the grass clippings, and etc. etc. And that is something for the very manicured yard. So uh, my front yard, you know, is good for that. So no worries. Well, look, uh, I'm really enjoying bringing these videos to you of the Mamotion products and I've got other robotic mowers uh, going to be reviewing soon. It is the 2nd of August at the moment so still got a little bit more of winter to go. I'm waiting for the grass to get growing again and it will soon and then it'll be uh, go time to show you more products and uh, more robotic mowers for you to check out. It's an exciting area and I've just really been enthused since the technology of RTK and uh, AI as well uh, has really brought that segment up and uh, has become quite useful even for the most dedicated lawnies. So if you want to see more videos in regards to uh, especially the motion series of mowers but also other robotic mowers 
be sure to like this video, subscribe, and get your lawn on. See you in the next one. One, action. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Matt Dawn from Lawn Porn. Now I'll get, get me in frame first, so I'm oh. probably not in frame. All right, so you can see me, my head's not chopped off. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take two. One, two, three. Okay, whole day of production just went down the toilet. It was really bad, so. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, take three. Yeah. Action. All right. So back to the uh, back to what this video is about. Is this on yeah, the it's camera? On the yeah. Got this following. Take four. One, two, three. Yeah. Have you got this following around? Because I'm going to go to this one now. Oh, hold on. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> all right. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Take. Uh, wait. Take, um, take, take four. Take four. And. <laughs> G'day everybody, it's Matt Dawn from Lawn Pod. Get your lawn on. In today's video, we're going to go through my motions range of... <laughs> Stop laughing at me! <laughs> Take five. One, two, three, and action! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, All right. we'll try again. Try again. Take six. One, two, three, action. G'day everyone, it's Matt Dawn from Lawn Pod. Stop laughing at me! <laughs> <laughs> 